Okay, so now we're back. Um, we're still going to be solving by substitution, but now we've got some word problems. Now, some of you get a little intimidated by the word problems, but I want you to kind of take a step back and uh, relax. Okay, with these word problems, actually, what we're going to look for, you should be able to find two different equations in the word problem. So, the first one says, a wilderness group is selling cans of nuts and boxes of microwave microwavable popcorn to raise money for a trip. A can of nuts sells for $4.50 and microwavable popcorn sells for $3. The group sells $252 in nuts and popcorns and they sell twice as many boxes of popcorns as can of nuts. So it says let X be the number of boxes of popcorn, let Y be the number of cans of nuts sold. So they're actually giving us the let statement. So the let statement here is X is popcorn, okay, and Y is the nuts, okay. Okay, write an equation that relates the number of boxes of popcorn sold to the number of cans of nuts sold. So, if we sell twice as many bo um, boxes of popcorns as cans of nuts, for instance, if I had three cans of nuts, then twice as many boxes of popcorn would be six. So, I'd have six popcorns. So, to write an equation for that, I could say that my popcorn is actually equal to twice my nuts. So, x equals 2y. Now it says, write an equation that gives the total amount of money made in terms of X and Y. Well, nuts are four fifty, and popcorn is $3. So $3 times popcorn, okay, plus $4.50 for the nuts, which would be our Y, we're going to equal $252. Okay, so now you can see we have our two equations. Once we have our two equations, we have two equations, two variables, we can solve it. In this case, our x is equal to 2y, so it makes sense to just leave it like that and substitute in here for our x. So when we do that, instead of an x, we're going to have 3 times 2y plus 4.5y is equal to 252. So now at this point, I've got only one variable, so I can solve it. So I'm going to distribute 6y plus 4.5y is equal to 252. Okay, combine my like terms, 10 and a half y equals 252. When I divide by 10 and a half, I'm going to get my y is equal to 24. So if my y is 24, I then can figure out my x. My x is going to be equal to 2 times 24, and I get my x equal to 48. So going back up, notice with word problems, I always have to specify what I found. So my x is popcorn, so I've got 48 boxes of popcorn. Okay, whoops, popcorn. And then I've got 24 cans of nuts. Okay, and always go back and say, does my answer make sense? Okay, so looking at number 12, it says your brother and sister took turns uh, driving on a 635 mile trip that took 11 hours to complete. Your brother drove at a constant speed of 60 miles per hour and your sister drove at a constant speed of 55 miles per hour. Let X, of, again they're giving us a let statement, so let's let X be the number of hours the brother drove. So brother's, brother's hours, brother's hours, okay, and let Y be the number of hours the sister drove, sister's hours. Okay, so this is total driving time. All right, um, we want to find the hours each of your siblings drove. So there's two, like I said, there's two equations hidden in here. Okay, sometimes there's a really easy equation. And if I look at this, it says the trip took 11 hours. Well, if I take my brother's hours and I add my sister's hours, that's going to equal 11. So there's my easy equation. The second equation, if your brother is driving at a constant speed of 60 miles per hour, we're going to say 60 times x plus your sister's driving at 55 miles an hour, okay, and it's going to be a total of 635 miles, 635, okay. So, this pen is not working. Here's my two equations. I have two equations, I have two variables, I can solve it. Okay, so to solve it, we have to decide, are we going to solve for X or Y? Okay, so looking at this, it doesn't matter. You could solve for X or Y. We have both have a co coefficient of 1. So in my example, I'm going to solve for Y. Y is going to be equal to negative X plus 11. All right, so because I solve for Y here, I'm going to circle my Y right here, and I'm going to substitute in. So my next line, I would have 60X 
plus 55 times instead of y, I'm going to say negative x plus 11. And that's going to be equal to 635. Okay, I'm going to distribute 60x minus 55x, okay, plus 605 is equal to 635. 60x minus 55x is going to be 5x, plus 605 is equal to 635. Now when I subtract 605 from both sides, I get 5x is going to be equal to 30, and then when I divide by 5, I get my x is equal to 6. So I then can figure out my y by plugging this back in. y is equal to negative 6 plus 11, or my y is equal to 5. So when I plug them, I get my answers. I can find out that actually my brother drove, my brother drove for um, 6 hours. 6 hours and sister drove okay for 5 hours because my sister is my y and my brother is my x so there's my answer okay moving on to the next example if you want to try it you can just pause the video at any time and then I'll give you the explanation Okay, during a football game, the parents of the football players sell pretzels and popcorn to raise money for new uniforms. They charge $2.50 for a bag of popcorn and $2 for pretzel. They collect $336 in sales. They sell twice as many bags of popcorn as pretzels. Okay, how many bags of popcorns did they sell? How many bags of pretzels did they sell? So we need a let statement. So let's let X be, okay, the pretzels. And let's let Y be the popcorn. Okay, it doesn't matter what variables you use, as long as you keep track. Okay, again, our example. So we're saying if we had, um, say I had six pretzels. If I had, say I had pretzels here, all right, they sell tw uh, twice as many bags as pop of popcorn as pretzels. So if I had six pretzels, how much popcorn would I have? Would I sell? I would sell 12. If I had three pretzels, I would have sold six. So actually you can see that our first equation is that our popcorn is actually two times the amount of pretzels. So y equals 2x. And the second question dealing with money, so if I take <coughs> my y value, which is my popcorn, it's $2.50 for popcorn, okay, plus I've got $55 for, um, oops, hold on. Okay, so then we have um, $2.50, okay, times uh, for popcorn, and then we've got $2 for our pretzel, so plus our 2x, and that's going to be equal to 336. Okay, so we're just going to now take our y is equal to 2x, so we're going to substitute in for y, 2.5 times 2x plus 2x is equal to 336. Our 5x plus 2x is equal to 336, so we get 7x is equal to 336, okay? x is going to be equal to 48, okay? So we end up um, with our x, which is pretzels, is 48, but we've got to figure out how much popcorn, and we do that by plugging it in, and our y is going to be 2 times 48, which is 96. So our final answer is 48 pretzels, okay? and 96 bags of popcorn. Okay, moving on, all right, number 14, the member, members of an outing club take a day-long tubing trip down a river. The company that offers the tubing trip charges $15 to rent the tube for a person to use and $7.50 to rent a cooler which is used to carry food and water. The club members spend $360 to rent a total of 26 tubes. I'm trying to find out how many of each tube do they rent. So let's start with our let statement. Let's let T be the normal tube that people go in. All right. And let's let C be the cooler tube. Okay, got to have our food. All right, so we have our cooler tube. All right, the easy equation in here is, is right here. They're renting a total of 26 tubes. So if we take our regular tube, we add our cooler tube, we're going to get 26. Okay. Now the money, $15 to rent a tube for a person, so 15T, plus $750 for the cooler tube, and we're going to have a total amount of $360. So now we have our two equations. 
All right. Um, we can solve for t or c. Doesn't matter. They both have a coefficient of 1. Let's solve for t. t is equal to negative c plus 26. So because we solve for t there, we're going to circle it here, and we're going to substitute in. 15 times negative c plus 26, okay, plus 7.5c is going to be equal to 360. Okay, we distribute, so we get a negative 15c plus 390 plus 7.5c is equal to 360, okay? When we combine our like terms, we get a negative 7.5c plus 390 is equal to 360. Negative 7.5c is equal to negative 30, and then when we divide, our c is equal to 4, okay? So our cooler tubes are 4, and our regular tubes, all we do is plug that back in, would be t is equal to negative 4 plus 26, okay, which would be equal to 22. So, we'd have 22 tubes and four, tu four cooler tubes. All right. The final word problem that we have, okay, number 15, okay. Kara spends $16 on tubes of paint and disposable brushes for an art project. Each tube of paint costs $3, and each disposable brush costs five, uh, 50 cents. Kara purchases twice as many brushes as tubes of paint. Find the number of brushes and tubes of paint that she purchases. Okay, so our first equation, if we think about it, um, it's going to be the number, let's do our let statement first. Let's let P be the number of um, tubes of paint, okay, and let's let B be the brushes. Okay, since she um, purchases twice as many brushes as tubes of paint, okay, our brushes is actually going to be equal to 2 times P, okay? So there's our first equation. The second equation, all right, each tube of paint is $3. So 3 times our paint plus 50 cents for the brushes, each brush, and we're going to spend a total of $16. Okay, so there's our two equations right there. Since we've already solved for B right here, let's circle B and just substitute in 2P. So we get 3P plus 0 0.5 times 2P is equal to 16. Now we've got one equation with one variable. We can solve it. We, did, we multiply here. We end up with 3P plus 0.5 times 2 is just 1. And we get 3P plus P is 4P. 4p equals 16. When we divide both sides by 4, we get p is 4. So we know the number of paint, brush, um, uh, paint tubes, and then to figure out the brushes, we just plug it back in, and we get b is equal to 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. So our final answer is 4 tubes of paint and 8 brushes. So word problems really are not that hard if you think about it. Come up with your let statement first, and then read it and think, I'm going to find two equations. Sometimes they're hidden and they're easy equations, okay? And once you have two variables and two equations, you can solve for both by using substitution. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.